Another one from the Wayback Machine. I have to tell you the, uh, so I've written, I don't even know how many songs, six or seven hundred songs, lots of songs. And um, way back when, I, even in the 90s, I had, you know, a handful of 20 or 30 songs I was playing and uh, that I wrote. And one night I was playing down on Dolphin Street and it got to be super late and I was just super tired. And a couple of my buddies from DIP came in and, uh, um, you know, we were just goofing around. And so I just started going. And I started singing about everything. I started singing about, you know, checkers and mud bugs and whatever, and Pinecrest Cemetery and all the things I saw on the way home. And they were like, that's awesome. And I was like, cool. And then I didn't pack my guitar and went home. So whatever. Next night I'm back in there playing my stuff. And then they came back with like 15 more people. And they were like, do that DIP song. And I was like, that's not a, that's not a song. I was, just, I was just playing two chords. I was just talking about the neighborhoods. I didn't even have a. Didn't make, they were like, we don't care. Just do it again. So I made up a completely different song. That was uh, just again, just free, you know, stream of consciousness about the neighborhood. But then the third night, I was like, that was just a random occurrence. So we'll be playing that one again. And then third night, the DJs from uh, WABB, which no longer exists, but at the time that was a thing, and they came in. We heard about the DRP song, you have to play it. And I was like, that's not a song. So then I made up a third version. <laughs> had a lot of the similar, you know, by this point, I'm starting to think, oh, that was kind of cool that that thing was in there. I'll put that back in there or whatever. Still didn't have any sort of form. And I'm going, why is, I mean, I get it. It's DRP, it's my, it's my homeland, you know. But um, I was like, that's weird. They keep requesting the song that's not a song. I have all these other songs that I actually wrote with like paper in my mind and things. And then these, this is just, you know? And they said, will you come in and play it on the radio tomorrow morning? And I was like, oh my God, I'll be on the radio for the first time ever. Yes. It's weird that you would pick that up. And whatever. I'm then Any reason to be on the radio? We're going. And um, I tell mom, I'm like, mom, we'll be on the radio. It's going to be awesome. And you know, I've seen all the movies where they have all the foam on the wall and you put the headphones on these, you know, the fancy microphones and I'm imagining how it's all going to be my debut on the radio. It's going to be amazing. And then they come, they give me their phone numbers, all that stuff. And I'm all night, you know, making sure I, I now had to go listen and remake up the song like a fifth time and make sure I had it kind of in some sort of, you know, formed a version because it's about to be on the radio. So I did all that. And I, every time they get you on the radio, by the way, it's like, 4 30 in the morning or something you know it's like ridiculously early but i didn't care it was just like on the radio yes so um i get up and um i gotta call them because they're gonna call me you know i'll tell you where to come i'm like cool and i'm expecting like what's the address of the radio station and they go oh i meant to tell you this week we're not in the studio and i was like okay what does that mean and they were like we're broadcasting from the roof of the walmart so this big amazing um you know my debut on the radio was from the roof of a walmart <laughs> i did not have the phone things on the wall nor the big microphones nor any of the things that i thought were going to be there and uh, but then i had the point is they played this and then it got requested a whole bunch of times probably by some of you in here but uh the uh then I had to listen to the radio and just play that version forever. So this was version five or whatever got stuck on the radio. And so that's what I've been doing ever since. And, uh, but I'm proud of my DIP roots and I always will be. And this is a song about it.
Six, six, oh, five, two. 